I'm embarrassed I even have to make this video. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I'm actually embarrassed that I even have to make this video today. So this is a requested video and that's why it's not really being put on like my scheduled appearances. But I'm actually gonna show you guys how to build this little calendar. This was one of my very first crafts on this channel and had I known that my crafting videos would be the ones kind of blowing up, I would have made a crafting channel from the start, but uh, I have since then. So if you guys are watching for this tutorial, I have a crafting channel and I think I do a much better job now at giving you all the information you need to replicate my crafts. For this craft where I did this, um, gosh, a couple years ago now, like almost two years ago or whatever, I didn't really show the steps of me piecing it all together. I just said like, you need these pieces and then I tried to point like where they go. So in today's video, I'm gonna try to do a better job at walking you guys through kind of the steps I took to assemble this so that you can recreate it for yourself. But before we get started, I do want to let you guys in on a little deal that will be good for the end of September um, until I think the 30th. I will put the actual dates on the screen here. I believe I have a 5% off coupon code for you guys to use on Amazon, but it is for this hot glue gun. And um, I will put all of the information down below in the description box if you guys are looking for a glue gun. So far, I really like this one. It comes with a little cord that you would plug in and it's not really considered a cordless hot glue gun um, because it's not like it's like a battery powered thing. It actually charges and while it's charging or plugged in, it does heat up. But I was able to almost assemble like all of the individual pieces for this thing with this unplugged before the glue started to kind of get a little too cold for you know the pieces to really stick together so i am really impressed it comes with hot glue it comes with little finger protectors and it stands up on the table which is nice so um, i will put that information down below if you guys are looking for one of these yourself but without further ado let's assemble this thing so here i'm just showing you guys uh, the clip from my previous video where i outlined the kind of combination of pieces that need to be assembled before finally putting together this main frame for the calendar so Obviously, I forgot to film me actually piecing everything together in the last one, and again, I apologize. Usually, I try to do a better job in my more recent crafts in showing you guys all the steps. So I went ahead and laid out all of these pieces again. This is before I even glued them together. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough blocks and that I had pieced everything together the way that I would have instructed you guys in a previous video. Then I used my hot glue gun. Um, again, it was unplugged. It was maybe plugged in for about five minutes or more, just kind of preheating. And I used my hot glue gun to secure all of these pieces together. If you want something a little bit more sturdy, I would recommend trying some type of wood glue. Uh, I haven't really had too many issues with using hot glue in the past, but I do know obviously that hot glue is not ideal for wood projects like these little Jenga pieces. So again, you can find some type of wood glue at, um, even the Dollar Tree sells it, and it's worked pretty well for me in the past when I have decided to use that over hot glue. So again, I glued my sets of three together and then pieced together all of the little combinations that I mentioned before. And here we have all of the pieces kind of like stacked and glued together in their like piles. So I took those pieces and kind of assembled them in how I want to glue them next. So these aren't glued yet, but I have uh, assembled these pieces in the next step that you guys want to do. We're going to take a lot of these main frame pieces and glue them together in a way where it kind of creates a checkerboard like pattern. So in other words, like you don't want two um, horizontal you know, Jenga squares glued next to each other. We want it to be like horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, and then we want it to alternate. So here's where we're gonna be using those like groups of five and groups of three of the mainframe pieces. 
So I just completed the square that will pretty much serve as the main frame for this calendar. Now I am gluing together the two pieces that will serve as our base, which will actually hold up that big square. And finally, the other piece that looks just like the one I'm doing right now will serve as the backside of the pocket that we're going to create for this calendar. So next we are going to glue our big, uh, I guess, three by three square that we've created. Uh, we're going to glue this to one of our base pieces. And you want to try to get it like right in the center. If you're a little off, that's fine. Uh, that will leave some more room for our little blocks. But right in the center should be good. That way everything is kind of nice and balanced. And you're going to notice that on one side, the little squares of Jenga pieces match. So we have like vertical next to vertical and horizontal next to horizontal. That will be considered our back side. And our front side, we want our vertical pieces in the center to be next to the horizontal pieces on the base piece. So this will be considered our front side just to kind of keep this uh, crisscrossing aesthetic. Next, I'm going to be gluing on my shelf, my little horizontal shelf, and this will uh, be above the block calendar blocks and will hold up the dates, like the months and the days of the week. And we want to glue this a little bit above the bottom of this center row of squares that we've pieced together in this larger square. This will allow for space for our cubes to sit, um, and actually, I probably could have put this slightly higher just to leave some space for the blocks that will sit below it. Next, we're going to add on our top shelf, which is our six pieces of Jenga blocks glued together like in a long rectangle. And we're going to glue this so that it sits just below this top row of squares that we've pieced together just to kind of keep the aesthetic and not like chop off half of a Jenga block or anything like that. So here we have the front side of our little calendar. You can see where we're gonna put our date blocks. And now we're gonna work on creating the little pocket that is in the back. So we're gonna take this other, um, I guess, two by three rectangle that we've created with our Jenga block squares. And we will be attaching it to the back. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and glue on my side pieces. They actually fit like perfectly together and it creates a nice flush look with the bottom rectangle. And as I mentioned before, we know that the back side of this frame has the kind of matching Jenga squares that we've created where we have like vertical next to vertical and horizontal next to horizontal. And like I mentioned, like this doesn't really matter because we are creating a pocket and no one's going to see this anyways. So it's not really a big deal. But this is going to be the orientation that I'm doing for the back wall of this pocket where we have horizontal tower blocks in the bottom center square so that it kind of contradicts with the vertical ones that are on the bottom piece of our frame. Then after putting the glue there, I just attached the last piece and there you go. If you want, you can paint these pieces, you can stain them, you can leave them as is if you like the natural look. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the block assembly with the numbers uh, for my previous tutorial. I think I did a pretty good job explaining what you needed to do there. But um, this time around, I hope that you guys have a better idea of how I constructed this frame. So I really hope that tutorial was a little bit better for you guys, uh, especially the few of you in the comments that were requesting to see this assembled. I hope it answers your questions, and I apologize that my first couple of crafting videos weren't done to the standard I kind of put myself out now. If you are looking for more crafting tutorials, please go and check out Lima Bean Crafting. That is the crafting channel that I created once I realized it was only my crafting videos that were actually blowing up. So go on, head on over there, show that channel some love, subscribe and interact with the videos. I would love to have some of your feedback on my other crafts as well. But I would love to have you still stick around here if you are into kind of all things mom. I do still do kind of crafty stuff here and there, but uh, I try to save most of this straight tutorials for my crafting channel. Don't forget to hit like on this video, please. Subscribe if you are stumbling upon this video for the first time and haven't seen my channel. I would love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end.
end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.